Mariah Carey, we call her friendly Maria Carey in Argentina. She is uh, one of the most popular singers of pop and soul music. And now, Mariah, you've sold more than 14 million copies of music box. <laughs> Larry, that's great. Yeah, Don't you feel as if you were living a dream? It's really incredible. It's, it's hard to really believe that, you know, the album has done so well and that I've done, you know, so much over the past three and a half years, you know. It's, it's pretty much been really fast, happened really fast for me, but it's great on that one. When did this dream become true reality? Um, I don't know if it's reality yet. <laughs> um, you know, I'm just kind of like taking every day and, and trying to enjoy the success and trying to enjoy everything today. It must be very difficult, no? To, to be famous and to be calm when you're so popular? Um, I, I'm still the same person that I am. You know, it's, I mean, things change. You know, life changes, but um, I'm really the same. Anytime you need a friend, anytime you, Mariah, need a friend, uh, you have her or him beside you? Do you have good friends? Um, I do. I mean, you know, it's kind of like you can rely on people up to a point, but, uh, mm -hmm. you, you know, kind of this year I've learned a lot about Sometimes people that you really think are your friends turn out not to be your friends. So, uh, you know, you have to look into yourself again. Mm -hmm. And for example, uh, friends you have when you went to school, mm -hmm. are still friends of yours? Some of them are. Or, or things changed and then, well, Some of because of you work in different things. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are still friends. Some of them, you know, I think that the real people um, are always there and the fake people, you know, are not always fun. What does friendship mean to you? Um, just being a true person and um, giving yourself to someone else and, you know, being there for someone else. Your mother being a former opera singer in, with the New York City Opera uh, had a great influence in your career? She had a, um, a big influence on me as a person because she always told me, you know, to believe in myself and to uh, really, you know, strive for what I wanted to do and never to give up. So that was a major influence on, you know, just forming my ideas and, and myself, you know, and believing that I could do this. You always wanted to be a singer or sometimes perhaps you thought of being a lawyer or, or whatever? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. I always wanted to be a singer. And uh, when did you start singing? I've been singing my whole life, really, but I guess when I was like four years old, I guess that's my first memory of singing. And what did you sing at that age? Everything. Mostly the commercials that were on TV. Yes? Whatever commercials were on, you know, like they'd be a TV show on and I wouldn't pay attention. And when the commercials would come on, I'd start singing. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do a remake of Without You? Why did I do it? Yes. Um, because I've always loved the song and I just, uh, I hadn't heard it in a really long time and I heard it in a restaurant and it just reminded me of how much when I was a little girl I used to love the song and I thought it would be a, you know, a good, a good song to, to do over and to kind of try to do my interpretation of the classic version. And you sang it, for example, when you were four years old, without you? I probably sang it. If it was on the radio, I sang it. <laughs> <laughs> I love listening to your music because sometimes when I'm tired, and this is true, eh? I, I turn on my comfort and then I, I feel a kind of quietness. And this is a scene that happens to you, for example, when you are building up a story and then fix the music to it? Um, actually, what I do is I do the music first and the melody really comes to me first. Like I could be sitting here and just melodies come into my head. That's yeah. really like my main thing and then I write the lyrics. Afterwards. Sometimes it happens at the same time, you know, like the song Hero was kind of at the same time, you know, for the most part, it came to me at the same time. And where do you get your inspiration from? I mean, from reality? From things that happen to you, to your friends? Uh, kind of everything. Some imaginary, some reality, some, you know, other people's experiences. Mostly it's whatever the music, like, dictates to me and makes me feel. 
Do you think it will be possible any time to come to Argentina? We would love to have you there yeah. with us. I'm sure I'll be there soon, yeah. Wow. Well, thank you very much, Mariah. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much